fresh Mediterranean squid, a delicacy caught by fishermen off the Andalusian coast. But squid isn't the only thing Enrique catches. Plastic waste often ends up in his nets, too. This morning, the seas are calm, so today the waste is limited. But on stormy days, Enrique's boat is practically swimming in it. We find a lot of plastic, bags and piping. When it rains, a lot of trash gets washed by the rivers into the sea. And then when the seas are rough, it all surfaces. The coastline near Almeria has been dubbed by locals Mar de Plastico because of the extensive use of the material in farming. Plastic can be seen everywhere here. Paco Taladano and his associates from the environmental group Ecologistas and Nacion have been fighting the problem for years. Plastic sheeting ends up as trash on the beach, where it's swept up by the sea and broken down into smaller pieces. It's scandalous, and above all, it poses a serious health hazard for the public. It's not only a risk to humans. Plastic waste also damages marine life. This turtle appears to be the latest victim. It was found dead on the beach with no visible injuries. The group will conduct a post-mortem to confirm the cause of death. Turtles are great opportunists. They just open their mouths and gobble up whatever comes their way. So it's very probable that it swallowed too much waste, which blocked up its intestines. That always leads to death. So, quite apart from the fact that it litters the landscape and looks unsightly, the trash has a far-reaching impact on ecosystems. Those who dump it are difficult to track down and would never agree to speak on camera. We approached the provincial authorities in Almeria, but they played down the problem. There's always a certain amount of collateral damage with everything. But of course the authorities and the industry itself, which wants to protect its image, are keen to avoid such things. The polyethylene sheeting used for the greenhouses has to be changed at least every three years. But now the farmers can have their old plastic recycled for free. Those who are making use of the service, like Juan Lopez, are angry with those who he feels are damaging the industry's reputation. For years I'd see all this plastic lying around, and I always wondered, why doesn't it get recycled? Why throw it away? But back then we didn't have recycling here. Now, thankfully, we do. We aren't the only visitors here today. Agricultural technician Diego Valera is working with local farmers to find possible alternatives to the plastic currently used. Glass would be too expensive, so Valera is proposing a new type of plastic. The outer layer has more additives, so it can resist the sun's ultraviolet rays. That means it's not only good for the environment, but is also good for the farmer, because the plastic lasts longer. In the meantime, plastic trash continues to plague the environment. The wind carries it out to sea, or the waste is simply dumped illegally on the beach. Fisherman Enrique says everyone has a part to play, not just the farmers, but he's confident things will improve. I think it will get better. I think we're starting to get more aware of environmental issues. At least I hope so. The fishermen depend on the sea. As long as the plastic trash remains on land, they're not so bothered. But if more of it ends up in the water, then their livelihoods will come under threat.